time for Good Morning LCA. Time to get your news on. Today is Wednesday, February the 19th, 2014, and I'm Katie. And I'm Tatiana. We hope you guys enjoyed your day off on Monday. I spent the weekend devouring my Valentine's, Valentine's candy. Did you? Hi, everyone. I'm Grace. I spent the weekend outside playing, enjoying the gorgeous weather. Phil, I'm a little worried about your prediction. It sure didn't feel like winter to me. Hold the phone. By the end of the week, it's going to be getting cooler again. Oh wait, let's save that for the weather report. Okay guys, it's time to move on to February's character trait. This month, the trait is faith. The definition for faith is believing in what you can't see because of what you can see. And the verse for faith comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It's time now to turn our attention to our flagging country. You know what that means. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Time for some news you can't lose. Get ready to be informed. Tomorrow night is Family Math Night. Be sure to brush up your math skills so you can beat your dad or mom. Math night starts at 7 o'clock in the lower school gym. Are you guys going to math night? Yeah, duh. You get a homework pass if you go. I'm going to be there. Same, same. Mayor Mayor Mazzo came last week and visited with fourth grade. And as promised, we wanted to share with you about it. It was a great time, and he shared about his childhood and how he didn't know he was going to be mayor. It was way cool. We we have so many amazing gymnasts here at Legacy, and we want to showcase another third grader. Presley Kate has been competing at WOGA for the past two years. Recently, she competed with gymnasts from all over the state and placed second. Way to go, Presley Kate. We have a few more details to pass on about the annual Daddy-Daughter Dance. This year, the dance will be on Saturday, April the 12th, from 6 to 8. The theme is a night of enchantment. Okay, everyone, that's it for the news. Time for the weather report. Okay, Grace, I'm beginning to doubt the groundhog a little. We've had some really nice days lately, and, well, it's still winter. I mean, we've had highs in the 70s, for crying out loud. Uh, yeah, nice like 70s, nice. Sorry, guys. I think your groundhog was wrong this year. Maybe next year. Well, remember, the true test is whether we have more winter weather but for the middle of March. And, well, we might. We'll just have to wait and see. Come on, groundhog. Don't let me down. So let's take a look and see what the weather looks like for the next few days. Our high temps will be in the upper 60s. Not too bad. Better than the 20s. The lows at night will be in the 40s. Hmm, not sure what to make about that. And that's it for the weather report. Home run! Not on the 20 yard line though. Well, is it on the 30 yard line then? No, Grace. No, she means it's not even on a yard line. Never mind. If you don't know it yet, it's baseball season. Our boys varsity baseball team plays Friday night against Cordeo at home. First pitch is at 7 o'clock and this is a home game. Come out, to, come out and cheer our guys to victory. Our girls varsity softball team will play their first home game next Tuesday. February 25th against Coram Dea. This game will start at 7. And remember, there's all kinds of sporting events happening all the time at Legacy. We have varsity, junior varsity, and junior high games. Plus, we have golf, tennis, and track. 
Be sure to check those out on the Legacy website. Time for the medal count. Do you know who's in first place? We do! That's right. As of yesterday, the United States and Russia were in first place with the most medals. Second place goes to Norway. And in third place is the Netherlands. Now, that's the standings for the total medals. If you want to know which country has the most gold medals, that would be Germany. They have eight. The United States has five gold, four silver, and 10 bronze. USA! 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 That's it for the sports. It's time for the Buzz On Books. Our amazing librarian, Miss Hamilton, is coming to bring us all the latest library news. Take it away, Miss Hamilton. Wednesday, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your day off on Monday. I know I sure did. Well, let's get straight to the news in the library. The race totals for last week ended up with the same grades in the lead. Okay, kindergarten, second, and fourth. I know you can do it and beat the grades ahead of you and read more. Who really wants that banana split party? Well, we will be changing the wall outside of the library at the end of the day to reflect this week's totals. You never know who might pull ahead. Well, the Six Flights race is coming to an end next week, so be sure to get your six hours read so you can get a free Six Flights ticket. All of your minutes are due to your teacher by Tuesday, February 25th. Don't forget, next Tuesday, I have to enter everyone's name that read six hours into the computer so you can get a free ticket. I have to have everyone in the computer no later than Friday. Well, that's a lot of kids to enter. All forms are due on Tuesday. Blue Bonnet Brunch will be next Monday morning from 9 to 9.30 for all the kids who voted for their favorite Blue Bonnet book. I cannot wait to announce the winner for the state of Texas. Get ready to eat some blue food, have some fun, have some blue tongues. Remember, if you voted, don't eat breakfast that morning because we will have lots of food to eat on Monday morning. I can't wait. We have seven birthday books to share on the show. Addie Johnson had a birthday yesterday, February 18th. She donated Anya the cuddly creature fairy. Thanks, Addie. And Mae Peterson in Miss Midas kindergarten class has a birthday today, Wednesday, February 19th. And Mae donated Disney princess book called Jewels for a Princess. I can think of several girls who are gonna want to read that book as soon as you're done. Thank you for your donation. Meredith Rogers in Mrs. Walsh's second grade class has a birthday this Thursday, February 20th. Meredith donated the Boxcar Children, the mystery in San Francisco. Thanks, Meredith. I know Mrs. Walsh is going to want to read that book as soon as you're done because she loves the Boxcar Children books. Eva Dickens in Mrs. Ludicky's first grade class donated colorful peacocks. Eva's birthday is also on Thursday, February 20th. Eva do Eva's donation is a beautiful book with lots of information about peacocks. Thanks, Eva. Callie Johnson has a birthday coming up this February on February 21st. Callie is in Mrs. Montes, Mrs. Montes' second grade class and she donated Junior's Desert Dessert Cookbook. <laughs> it has 75 recipes in it, cheesecakes, pies, cookies, cakes, and more. Junior's is a restaurant that's in New York. I ate at Junior's when I went to New York City and it was so good. I think it was my favorite restaurant in all of New York. I even bought a coffee mug from there because I loved it so much. If any of you ever go to New York, you have to make sure you eat at Junior's. It's open all night long. It never closes. Thanks, Callie, for a great new cookbook for our cookbook collection. Kate Hefferman in Mrs. Huxham's kindergarten class donated a book called About Hummingbirds. It's a guide for children. This book has lots of cool facts about hummingbirds, and it is at just the right reading level for kids. Thanks, Kate, for our new nonfiction book about hummingbirds. Kate's birthday is also on Friday, February 21st. Caden Bella in Mrs. Snyder's first grade class has a birthday this Saturday on February 22nd. Caden donated a, get ready everybody, a Lego Ninjago book called Rise of the Serpentine. 
Serpentine. I don't know, something like that. Thanks, Kaden. We have lots of Ninjago lovers in our school, and that will be on the waiting list, I know. Thanks, Kaden. I have one more announcement before I end the Buzz on Books. The Diamond Book has finally arrived. It has finally came in for you gem lovers. Henry in first grade has been waiting so long, he had requested this book last year, and it has been on back order. Mrs. Hunt and I have Mrs. Hunt and I had a dance party when we opened the box and we saw that it had finally arrived. Henry will be the first to check it out, then Noah Gornto. Don't forget to put it on hold if you've been waiting to read it. It is a super popular book series. Well, that's it for the Buzz on Books. Bye guys. Thanks, Miss Hamilton. You rock. Get out your Bibles because it's time for Bible trivia. How much do you know about God's Word? Time to learn something new. We gave you guys an easy question last time, and you may have known this one without even looking it up. Do you remember? We asked, what did God stop from being built by confusing man's language? The answer is, ready? Drum roll, please. The Tower of Babel. Okay, this time we're not going to give you such an easy question. Katie, did you have a good question? Of course, give me a minute. Okay, this one has to do with languages, but it comes from the New Testament. What is the name of the day when the disciples miraculously spoke in foreign languages? Are you sure that's in the Bible? Just kidding. You can find the answer to these in Acts chapter 2. You can also watch next time to see if you guessed it right. That's it for Bible Trivia. That's our show for today, and that's also it for us. Your next team will be Mason, Alyssa, and Caitlin. And then after that, the fourth grade will be on their Austin San Antonio field trip. Third grade will fill in for us. So we thought we live leave you with a few pictures from Shoshi. Have an awesome day. Bye. I miss you so much. <laughs>